Hi there, I'm Trisha Pine and welcome to Rejoice in Your Voice. This week I'm sharing with you the weird things that I eat before I go out on stage, before I go out to sing. You see, last week I did a concert and I thought that some of you may benefit from knowing what I do backstage so that I can do my best out on the stage. This is some of the things that I've learned over the years of my professional career. I've watched my colleagues, what are they doing? I've asked my teachers, directors, vocal coaches, and I've come up with some things that work for me. And you get to find out what works best for you, but some of these are unconventional. But first, let me tell you what I struggle with when I go out on stage. Partially what happens is I will get a dry throat. Okay, maybe the nerves kick in, I'm all warmed up, I start to get a dry throat. Well, the body, which is amazing, comes in and I get now a lots of saliva is being produced. Well, it goes into the throat, of course, and I feel like I always have to swallow or I feel like I've got excess in there that is getting in the way of me creating the sound. Sometimes even some phlegm or mucus may come to actually protect and to re-lubricate the vocal folds. Well, this is great that the body's doing this, but as you know, when you're out on stage, not so great. So what I decided to do was front load it, pre-pave it, and lubricate the throat myself with some different types of foods, which may seem a little bit unconventional. Everybody always says, don't eat dairy before you sing. I eat dairy before I sing. I did a three month run of eight shows a week of Kiss Me Kate and I was Kate and it was in a theater and like most theaters, it's dusty, there's paint fumes, it's sets, it's wardrobe and my voice was sensitive to it but I would have a few spoonfuls of this before I went out on stage, coats the throat and I never had a problem for the rest of the evening. The other thing I love, gummy worms. This is something I used when I went to Miss America. I had my stash of gummy worms. It's the gelatin and the sugar in there that would allow it to coat the throat. Really helped me and I still use it even now. That's what I used last weekend. I had my stash of gummy worms and gummy bears work too. I just like the worms. The other thing that I learned from uh, my teacher when I lived in New York is that she said, Trisha, right down the road at the Met, people are using chocolate frosting interesting. Same thing. It coats the throat. It's got that sugar in it. It will stay there for a little bit while you go out onto, st onto stage and it will let you get acclimated there and then be able to sing your best. Okay. So I used this before I did my senior recital at Manhattan School of Music and I've used it since then. It works for me. It's weird, but it works for me. The other thing that um, works as well, I did Hansel and Gretel and I was Gretel and Hansel would have yogurt before every performance. She felt that the healthy bacteria in the yogurt was good for her throat, as well as the coating of the dairy. Okay, another dairy advocate. And Ricola. So I use these almost on a regular basis, even while teaching, just to kind of coat the throat, because there's so much talking and singing going on during my week, but also before performance, this is another thing that I like to go to to coat the throat. So there you have it. That's my little repertoire of things that I like to do that help me stay away from dry throat, allow me to have a little extra support with that moisture. And a couple of things that I don't do. I don't drink water. Even, not, of course not ice water, but even room temperature or warm water before I sing because I feel like it strips away the natural lubrication of the vocal folds and then it, it gives me a slight bit of relief, but then it's right back to the dry. Um, the other thing I don't do is alcohol. I know some people like they get these gigs and they're in a band and that you get drinks on the house, but I won't do it simply because alcohol dehydrates. And what I want to do is protect these precious muscles, these two vocal folds, so that they can vibrate with lots of flexibility. And when they're dry, it's harder for them to do that. So I make sure that I stay hydrated and I'll use the things that I told you about to coat the throat. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Find out what works best for you, okay? And I'd love to know. So, you know, write it in the comment section and share with us what works for you. And again, this is not gospel. This is anecdotal research. Um, see what happens for you and uh, maybe one of these tricks will help you do your best out on stage. Until next time, rejoice in your voice. Bye-bye.